the time and the effort it took to start up a conversation and to even try to figure out if I wanted to go out with this person. Most people weren't really interested in, in meeting up. Um, and this isn't just COVID. It's like they wanted that companionship. Maybe they were talking to a lot of different girls. I'm not sure what it was. And there's the effort, you know. Um, I generally think I'm a pretty real person, but I would notice myself being like, oh, should I say that that way? Should I do, you know? And then, <laughs> um, and then you would think the same thing about what are they saying? And that's ultimately a contrast persona that you're putting out. It's not really you. And so it tells you nothing about chemistry or character or any of these things that actually really matter. Like I've had a guy who we agreed to meet up on a first date. And when I get there, he drops that he's a dad of two young kids, you know, and there's like a space on your profile to mention that. And really I'm okay with dating a dad. I have nieces and nephews and I love kids and, you know, I'm not sure if I want my own or whatever, but, right, but he wasn't, you know, we didn't disclose that. And if that wasn't a big enough red flag, uh, you know, when we decided to go to Mexico together on a trip, when he started buying steroids in Mexico, that was like kind of when I said, okay, no, um, there's a guy that I found who turns out my family figured out was like arrested for cyber stalking and did that to me as well. Um, there's a guy the other day, and this wasn't online dating. This is someone who came up to me in the cleaning aisle of Publix. <laughs> But we went out on a date and like we went to this uh, place in Atlanta that's famous for dancing. And all of a sudden on the dance floor, he's like actively biting me, like biting me in the middle of Johnny's hideaway. So <laughs> that was a red flag. I mean, you name it, it's probably happened to me. And I'm sure people have some stories about me as well. Like it's been a long journey of dating for me, but um, yeah, there's there's never any shortage of those stories. And, and most of my friends just love hearing like what's happening in my dating life because you almost can't make it up.